we played best of all that was our last show and then we went um, back to Oxford back to the same studio that we've always written in um, which is tiny and yeah we just started we well first off we like wanted to finish some of the material that we'd been writing on the road and then once we'd done that we just we were kind of we had we'd been bitten by the bug so we just um, we just felt good and, and we felt excited and creatively ambitious and hungry so we just wanted to get on with it and we wrote it uh, quick for our standards so we were like we wrote from September till February and then we were done yeah uh, and then we went to France and recorded and that's where you recorded yeah and James Ford's involvement um, he was a very good influence on us like he's an incredible musician and he helped us become more decisive I think that we have we have a, like a tendency in the past to put off decision making um, and he made us like commit to the songs Do you think you've grown in a lot more confidence? Because you've always been quite a confident guy. Um, I think that I feel more confident in my as a singer, and um, I think that's something I guess that people will hear on the record is that a lot of the songs are more vocally led um, than they have been before. I, you know, at the beginning of the band, I was kind of reluctant. I didn't really want to sing. I just wanted to play guitar, and um, so that's something that I've grown into over time. Do you think now, off the back of this record, you'll be headlining Reading and Leeds and more of the bigger festivals? I feel like we can do it, and I think that um, it would be cool. It would be a good. It would be good, obviously for us. You know, from a selfish perspective, it'd be. I'd love to like headline something like Reading and Leeds, or um, you know, maybe even in the future something like Glastonbury or something. But um, I think also just to kind of to show that you can be like a homegrown organic band I guess um, not like organic farming but like bring you know have come up naturally through the ranks and to be able to grow into that position um, and have done it off our own backs so and that the fact that it's off the quality of the music and the live shows alone and not because like we're dating the right person or that we have some huge sort of uh, prefabricated marketing budget behind us or something like that.